excuse me, um, <laughs> sorry to bother you, but could I ask you a few questions? Sure. Thanks. Um, have you seen this girl? Can't say that I have. When was she last seen? About eight years ago. Oh. And what's her name? Sadie. Sadie DeRoso. Oh. What was that reaction? Nothing. I uh, thought she might have been someone else. Okay, but who... Not important. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, sorry. I really haven't seen her. Right. Well, could you answer just one more question, if you don't mind? If you were a missing teenager in this town, where would you go? Uh, that's kind of a tough one. Maybe someplace that's sort of familiar? I like cafes. Hell, I'm heading to La Vida Mocha right now. <coughs> Sorry. Um, did you say La Vida Mocha? That's, that's incredible. <laughs> yep. Home to the infinite coffee if you can handle the bitter taste. I'll take your word for it. Listen, do you mind if I ask you a few more questions? I'm making a podcast. Fuck it. Sure. Amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate it. People have been incredibly cagey so far. So, um, what's your name? I'm Vincent. And yes, I'm a girl named Vincent. Don't get weird about it like everyone else. <laughs> Listen, uh, my closest friend is named Solomon Abel Crockett. I have a very high tolerance for out there names. So, Vincent, how long have you been out here? About ten years now. My parents moved me out here when I was 11. Ah. And I take it by your tone that you're not thrilled about that. My mom doesn't have a lower jaw anymore, and my dad is a round creature made of fingernails. Hard to be thrilled when people change the way they do here. I... Huh. Um... Was... Sorry, I... Hmm. Did... You say... F fingernails? Yes. I mean, it's not the worst thing that can happen to people out here. You understand. Yeah. Fair point. You look uncomfortable. Do you need a minute? No, no, sorry. I just... I wasn't prepared for, uh... Fingernails. Uh, listen, are you... In high school? I'm a junior in college, so... No. <laughs> My apologies. I'm really terrible at guessing ages. No worries. Black don't crack and all that. Right. Hey, okay, not to be weird about it, but I have noticed this is a very white town. What's up with that? Huh. Not gonna lie, I've stopped noticing that considering how faceless most of the people are here. Faceless? How do you mean? Oh, sorry. I uh, didn't know you were a newcomer. Uh, how do I explain? So, it's like a glamour, you know? When you first move in, you think it's all normal and shit, and then over time, you start to notice that everyone's faces aren't quite right, and they start to get a little... transparent. And then suddenly, you're looking at a person with an ice cream scoop for a head, and no eyes or nose or mouth. But they still talk. Fuck, do they still talk. Uh, one moment. Solomon, a uh, note here, go back and listen through my descriptions of other Shelterwood residents. Do I ever describe faces? Because now I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. Sorry, how long have you been in Overbrook? The glamour should probably come off after about a month or so. Overbrook? It, is that like a subdivision? Oh, you're lost, lost. Yeah, no, this whole town is called Overbrook. What? No, no, I'm I'm in Shelterwood, across the bridge. What bridge? We don't have a bridge in Overbrook. Okay, okay, hold on, stop. Um, are we, uh... What does your town hall look like? We don't have one. Oh, God. No giant spire in the middle of town, weird columns, lots of doors and windows? We have a giant junkyard in the middle of town. 
Unless you count rusted metals and piles of old furniture, then no. Oh, shit. Shit! Okay, um, listen, Vincent, are we, uh... Are we, like... Mm. Are we in reality right now? Ugh, don't tell me you've been talking to Locke. I, I don't know who that is. Look, I have to get back to Shelterwood. My sister, she's she's over there, I, I think, and, and now I have to get back. If you were going to go to, like, the embodiment of the American dream, where would you go from here? I, I have to get back on track and fast. The embodiment of the American dream. You realize you're talking to a black girl, right? Okay, yeah, point taken. So, what's, like, the waspiest part of town? I, I'm talking a town museum or a, a, a country club, something. Oh, we have a museum. I mean, I consider it more of a cluster of weird rock-related attractions, but we, we have something like that. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Um, Solomon, I have somehow gotten lost out of Shelterwood? I'm... I'm working on it. Okay, Vincent. You've already been very, uh, welcoming, but I really have to get back to where I came from. Shelterwood, the place that I, I guess, arrived from, it operates on dream logic. Now, I think maybe I, I don't know, maybe I lost focus or something and I ended up here. If you could get out of this town, where would you go? If I could get out of this town at all, I'd just pick a direction and keep moving. I did say there are worse things than being turned into a creature made of fingernails, and I know there are worse things because I've seen it. Okay. I appreciate your concern, but staying here is not an option for me. I will take my chances with the thing worse than being fingernails. Fine. If you need directions, I'd go through the Haywood Tunnel. Just make sure you keep your windows up and blast music really loudly so you don't hear what's going on in the tunnel. Her name's Margaret, and she gets hungry often. Oh, Christ. It's the basement all over again. Okay, yes, that actually does help a lot. Um, I really appreciate it, Vincent. Good luck getting out of... Where did you say we were? Overlook? It's Overbrook. By the way, I didn't catch your name. Oh, sorry. My name is Nicholas DeRoso. I'm looking for my sister, Sadie. If you see her... Tell her I'm still looking for her, and that if she's here, I'll be back, I guess, okay? Will do. Get home safe, Nick. Yeah, thanks. Uh, don't get killed, if you can help it. (laughs) Wouldn't dream of it. Solomon, you're never gonna believe the day I'm having. This minisode was made in collaboration with Shelterwood, a suburban gothic podcast crowdfunding this July. To support indie queer horror, go to bit.ly slash shelterwood pod. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash shelterwood pod. Follow them on Tumblr and Twitter at shelterwood pod or get in contact at shelterwoodpod at gmail.com. Thanks. <laughs>